Well, hello everyone. This is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And uh, yet again, it's another sparkling day in Central Oregon. Unbelievable, unbelievable. And uh, I wanna welcome you to the channel. I wanna welcome all the new subscribers. Thank you so much. And uh, after today, <laughs> I can't help myself. It's, it's heavy on my mind and I, I just can't help but think about what's, cons what's hap happened in the last few days. Talking about the, uh, the East and what happened and Americans being in trouble. And I wanna relate this to homesteading. So, there's Cinder, there's Bell. I have a bunch of chickens and I have a wife. And let's say there's a fire coming. Uh, so I just get in the car and uh, maybe maybe grab Sherry, Sherry, just maybe, and I leave out of safety. I leave the dogs, I leave the cats, I leave the chickens. Uh, and uh, hopefully they'll live. <laughs> now, would you do that on your homestead? Would you do that in your household? And the next question is, would you do that to a fellow American? If there was a fire coming here and we had a, would I not check on my neighbor or help any other neighbors get out? That'd be some of the first thoughts I have. Uh, make sure my pets, my chickens, are protected some way or another. I don't care if I have to put them in boxes and throw them in the back of the truck and the dogs and cats to get out of here. But would I not also say, well, I have pretty good neighbors. Would I not check on them and say, are you guys able to get out? Is there something we can do? Well, that's what happened in Afghanistan. Those who are in charge left without taking care of the Americans and the people that helped. And that just makes me ill. And I don't care what side of the fence you are. If you want to take sides, we got to stop that. That's just, I can't imagine someone who's on the left, who has a homestead, would not take care of their animals and their responsibilities, their wives, their kids. It's just gotta stop. We're messed up. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're really messed up. And now they're talking about insurance companies dropping you because you didn't get a jab in the arm. And, and in some states where you... They're even talking about the partitions they put between people, like in a casino or anything like that, is actually more deadly to people for getting COVID. I shouldn't say deadly. Because of stagnant air and germs on, on, the, on the plates and stuff. It's like... It's better to let the air circulate and let people's and companies' uh, air systems filter things. There's so much that we've done, and we're just doing it out of uh, what we think and not what the facts are. It's kind of like homesteading. It's like some of the things we do, we learn from others, we get the data, and then we move forward with like when you built the chicken pen, it was built on data of other homesteaders. Why we built it this way and why we did a greenhouse and why we are using a fabric weave and trying uh, hydroponics and stuff. It's data that came from other people and then we acted on it. We didn't ignore it. We just didn't take seeds and put them in the ground any way we want and didn't care about the soil or didn't care about how we did things, we, we did some 
research, we did reconnaissance, you might say. And, uh, and we're so grateful for those people that taught us to do what we've done. And now, what we've learned now, we'll be better at it even next year because there's certain things we had to learn on our own. But, uh, and I didn't care whether you're a left or right. If you had some good information, we used it to move forward in our community. When it comes to American lives and people that helped us and people that supported us, there is no sides. It's community. We take care of each other. And to watch what happened is awful. And guys, pay attention to Australia. Our lives are getting closer to what's going on over there. And I was like, Rob, I can't do anything about it. Or you're just sitting there and watching it happen. You need to speak out just like I'm doing. My little part that maybe someone will pay attention. I mean, they're, they're literally building camps. They look like little condos to segregate people because of COVID and finding people. And they got ridiculous things going on that don't even make scientific sense. And then once again, it doesn't matter if you're left or right. If it doesn't make sense, why would you do that to people? Why would you l destroy their businesses, destroy their careers, <sighs> destroy their freedom and liberty? Would you do that? Would you leave your chickens behind in a fire? Would you, would you not try to do something to save them? What about these beautiful dogs? Would you leave them? Seriously, do you, do you not care? Do you not have enough empathy to care about your animals or your property or your neighbors? I think you do have that empathy. I think we all do. And we're just sitting back watching this foolishness happen and not speaking out. Makes me want to cry. Makes me want to stand up and tell you that so many things in the past of you living here were fantastic, not perfect. And it's being dumped on by a bunch, a handful of idiots you guys know what you want. You want to make a living, to live the American dream of a, maybe having a home and a car, having a little extra money and enjoy a vacation. We all want that. And I don't care if you're straight or have a partner or whatever, it doesn't matter, but just don't push it on me. That's your life. And I respect that. But I know you want some of the same things I do. I don't care about that part. But don't make me talk to you differently. I want to talk to you like a community. And I don't care who, what side of the aisle you're on. I don't care what your relationships are. I don't care if you think you're a guy or a girl. I don't care. And I don't want to hear about it. But I'm not going to belittle you. No, I guess I'm not woke. <laughs> but I think even woke people would go, you don't leave the dog here. You don't leave the chickens here if a fire is coming. You don't leave your neighbors that have cared for you and done things for you without checking on them. And you certainly don't leave your partner. That is what happened four days, five days ago. It's so wrong. And yes, the leader we had before was bolsterous and he was arrogant. But you look at him now, you go, do you think this would have happened? It's like, who cares about the personality of a leader if they do the things that we want them to do, we've asked them to do and voted them to do. And once again, it doesn't matter what side of the aisle 
would you want an arrogant, bold, strong leader like the one we had before? Yes, there's other ones too. There could be others. I'm not saying we want him back. I'm just saying he had the qualifications to take our country in the right direction and make us strong. And there's others. And it's too bad we have to label it conservative or liberal or Democrat and Republican. We're, we're on the brink of ending up like Australia. And you, if you're not paying attention to what's going on there, who would have thought what was going on in Australia is going on today? That'll put you into tears. That is, it's awful. <laughs> I don't care what you think about this 19 stuff, but it's gonna be, and it is, a lot like just the common flu. What the hell ever happened to the flu? Is it gone? <laughs> Does it not do some of the same things? I think it's something we're gonna live with all of our life, like the flu. So let's just deal with it. The true thing to do with all that is get in better health, eat better, be strong. If you have an issue, then you might want to get the uh, jab in the arm. If you don't have the jab in an arm, that's your decision. You're accountable for yourself. If it kills you, great. Don't even tell me that if you got the jab in the arm, you can't give it to someone else. That's long gone. I know I'm bitchy today. <laughs> I'm just bitchy. So, uh, anyway, guys, we have responsibilities. We care about one soon. We have empathy. We care about our animals. No, I'm not going to save my corn. <laughs> if there's a fire coming, I'm not saving the corn. But I will pack up my chickens put them in boxes and throw them in the back of the truck. I will grab my dogs. I will grab my cats and uh, I will check on my neighbors and I will help them if I can. I will not turn my back on them or blind eye on my neighbors and community if I can help. Would you? Would you do that? Would you leave your animals to die? Do you not care about their lives? They depend on us. These chickens need water every day. They need food every day. And they want to live. They all have a drive to live. And you wouldn't, you would just walk away from them? Or your beautiful dog or cat, would you just leave them? Not check on your neighbors? Oh hell, maybe just you and your wife would take off and leave the kids. I don't think you will. I know you won't. And I don't care where you're from or what you believe in, or what your sexual preference is. You feel the same as I do. So, uh, guys, I love you guys. And I know you probably don't want to hear about this stuff. But if we don't pay attention, don't speak out. Don't. And, and, and in, in the comments below, I'd love to hear your voice. And yes, I'll be attacked. It's a shame. I'm talking about things we all believe in. We believe in America. We believe in freedom and liberty. We believe in helping each other. We believe in empathy and care for others. And we, sh if you are someone who would leave others behind just to save yourself or save your family and, and not care about anybody or check on them, that is exactly what happened last weekend and now don't you even think that those people that are spread out in that country can get to that airport through some people that don't think like us don't believe like we do and treat others like we do they're not going to change you can talk about all you want it's their life and culture those 10,000 people are in real danger and they will probably be killed. Not maybe kind of, sorta. We know you can be as hopeful as you want, 
but there is no way that they could get from wherever they're at to the airport without being caught by the Taliban over there. And you know what they're gonna do. And it's not gonna be nice. It's gonna be awful. It's awful. Only because we lacked empathy. We lacked caring. We lacked planning. We lacked leadership. I just ask, would you have done that? Would you not plan ahead? Do you not every day think ahead? Plan how you affect others? Everything I do on this homestead, I have to ask myself, would Sherry, was this, you think Sherry would like this too? And of course I have my kids, occasionally I'll think about what would be good for them, even though they're really not part of this household anymore. There is decisions I gotta make that I care about my children, even though they're grown up adults. I want to say wake up people, but I really want to say is we've got to find a way to step up and voice what we think and what we want people to do in our leadership. How do we get them to stop being driven by money and greed? It's all totally that. They're, it, it is, they're not even thinking straight because they're thinking about how they're going to make their next buck. And that's that's sad. So anyway, guys, <laughs> I think I better just leave this video alone. I do have a lot of chores to do. I do have to feed my animals, the ones I care about. I have to take sh make sure I'm doing things so Sherry doesn't have to do it. It's called empathy, taking care of one another. <sighs> and I love to hear your thoughts below. I ask you to be professional. If you're, say that this, prove to me I'm wrong in a nice way and professional way. No bad words or anything like that, I'll delete that. But if you wanna have a conversation about this, you really wanna make a statement saying, oh no, this is all, you got it all wrong, Rob. <laughs> That's okay. I can handle that. I can't handle rudeness. I'm not being rude here, I'm being respectful to everybody. I don't care what side of the aisle you are, what your preferences are, if you're white or black or purple. It doesn't matter. I don't see you that way. I see you as a person. I see you as an entity of someone. If you're a loving, caring, wise, empathy kind of person, I don't care what you look like, pink hair and weird things in your uh, ears and noses, which I wouldn't do, but I'm not a, <laughs> I find it amusing, but I would still respect you. I can find a way to survive with all different kinds of people as long as we all have the human capacity to care for one another. So don't get on some side of like, Rob, you're, you're a bigot or Rob, you're old fashioned. I've changed with the times. All of you have too. And we know we can be side by side with one another, caring for each other, caring for our communities and doing things in a positive way for the community and our nation. We gotta quit making decisions on feelings and do it on who's capable of doing what and what we need them to do to make us strong. So 2022 is coming up, we have a, elections coming up, we need to get new people in there to stand for what we really want. <clears throat> and really do the research and really think about will I get the things that I need as a citizen from the leaders that we put in there and they won't be people that are driven by money and greed. We gotta change that. And that's up to us. We got unfortunately we have to wait till 2022 of November. <clears throat> I don't know for how well we're gonna survive at this rate. But we need to, we need to do this, guys. So guys, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for your time. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. 
please leave a nice comment below, positive or negative about the subject, but be respectful and, and, and write like you want to help people get educated. So guys, have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.